getting uglier. contains the Holy Grail. Yep. Which is an alien artifact. Yep. So we have to go to the Vatican. Yep. Uh... That's AAA rookie. Get used to it. I don't know. This is some Da Vinci Code shit, man. Huh. <laughs> you don't like the Da Vinci Code, Sam? Nah. Why not? Some good theories in there. No literary merit. So, um, uh, who's your favorite writer? Ah, uh, Philip K. Dick, I guess. Philip K. Dick? Wait, Sam reads books? Shit. Guys, guys, you got incoming! Sam? Anyone? I'm here. What's happening? We got hit hard. Convoy's foobar. Gotta regroup and get out of here, or get out of here and regroup, whatever. Casualties? Driver's dead. Rookies. I'm alive, I think. So, Rookie, what's your name? Kenneth, sir. All right, Kenny, relax. We're gonna kill us some aliens. Did you miss me? Cause I didn't miss you. Don't worry kid, I got this covered.
Sir, these Octanian Harvester Leviathans are a lot bigger than I imagined. It's not the size, kid. It's how you use it. I once killed a clear with a nail clipper. Turned in the cannon fodder for Mitzel's horde. Cute, aren't they? How... how can we help them? Apply bullets as needed. Now, you can also take out the canar with your bare hands, but for larger groups, go for a shotgun or assault rifle. If I had a gun, any gun. explode so stay clear of their barf radius. Barf radius? Look, it's not a scientific term, but it works for me. It's funny, but... 
Usually when I pick up one of these things... Ah, there they are! Because it is an advanced automatic security gate, of course. It is I, Professor Gottlieb Kiesel, your scientific advisor. Guten Tag. I think he just gets bored. us into the processed yep mothership sucks you up spits out a tentacle brain killing machine i guess mental's really into recycling Getting a signal from Father Mikhail. I'll upload the coordinates to your Natrixa. All right. One ecclesiastical extraction coming right up. Ecclesiastical extraction? What?
sir, I think that's it for now. Recognize that thing? It's a scrapjack. Let me take it apart so you can have a closer. Father Mikhail, I presume. I thought there was supposed to be convoy. I am the convoy. Hi, I'm Kenny. Hellfire, we're ready for extraction. I'm picking up Rodriguez and Jones at the Piazza della Repubblica. Meet me there? It's a date. Father, grab your stuff. Let's not keep the lady waiting. I have my shotgun and my faith, son. I am already packed. Like Catholicism, Holy Grail is heretical. But this is no time for dogma. Each must do all he can to save planet. Hello, folks. This is Bill Corwin on Radio Free Earth with the news. In the ongoing congestion of Is that a giant metal space thing? Yep. Oh, I see. Good. That's good.
An update on the Tunguska offensive. As previously reported, the EDF front has been pushed back further. We now know that troops were recalled to participate in an attack on Angard, which was aimed at the destruction of a portal. We lost some ground, but at least now the enemy can't teleport straight up our noses anymore. Losing ground might sound like a bad thing, but let's keep in mind that Siberia is a big place with not a whole lot in it. So let them have it if they want it so bad. The point I'm trying to make here, folks, is that we need to pick our battles carefully. If we lose this war, that's it for planet Earth. That's it for us. No more second chances. So if retreating toward Irkutsk is what we need to do today, let's do that. So we can gain ground again tomorrow. All right? Syrian artifact of might. I theorize that the cloud of nanoparticles contained within can grant powerful new skills. However, the human brain may not be... You inhaled it, didn't you? Yep. Uh, of course you did. people up there. They need our help. You're right. We must continue. I have faith that the Lord will protect them. We'll have your back, sir. I will pray for you. Since you have the shotgun, can you shoot and I'll pray? As you wish. <laughs> Welcome to Rome, friend! How do you like it? Love the food. Hate the traffic. Traffic? Well, my convoy got blown up. Ah, still better than before the war. Your neighbors are noisy. Yes! I think it was wonderful. Saving the planet. Ah, you should talk to Massimo. This is also his hobby.
That's what I call raising the roof. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I think we have been fighting every day since the city was invaded. We... Massimo. Massimo! No! He... He is dead. Sorry. I saw him fight. He was a real badass. But how... How can he be dead? He is Massimo Murena. The hero of the Italian resistance. The spirit of Roma. Is that really how his story ends? It does not seem right. <sighs> we never get to retire, do we? What's your name? Paolo. Nope. Your name is Massimo Morena. It is? Yep, that's you. Massimo Morena. Hero of the Italian Resistance. Got it? But... Who died? Some guy called Paolo. Just a brave, ordinary Roman. But Massimo Morena will take revenge, won't he? I... Uh... It's what he would have wanted. Take this, my friend. A gift from Massimo Morena. Successful, my son. You win some, you lose some. Can't tell which one this was. I sense evil presence. Is your priest sense tingling? No, I just see pale corpses and floating objects. Sounds like we're about to have company. Ah, forgive me. I almost made stairway to heaven joke. You are forgiven, father. What a lovely view! Planet Earth, baby! There's no place like it. Huh. Huh. 
This is Bill Corwin bringing you. In the Russia, even small child could kill you. And now, for a short editorial. Who is Lord Ackerman? He's pretty evil, that much is clear. But who is he really? Who is he when he goes home and puts down the death ray? I'll tell you what I think he is. He's a bully. If you take away his armies, his ships, his propaganda drones, then he's just Jerry Duberman. And now, a message from Lord Ackerman. Sons of bitches! I fuck metal! I fuck your whole army! Come at me, you alien pendejos! You want Mexican? I got Mexican! You want American? I got American! Y'all wanna bite me? Come get your Chile con carne! What he said. Sam, nice to see you in one piece. Yeah, yeah. Never been so glad to see your ugly face, cabron. Hey, where's the rookie? I really wish I had a gun! Catch! Oh, I, I lost my shoe. Nice shot! Crap, one-liner, though. I wasn't trying to do a one-liner. I lost my shoe? Dude, that doesn't even make sense. Should have said surprise. Just as you turned around. That would have been sweet. I, I was just trying to survive. I wasn't... This is triple A, boy. You gotta survive with style. See, a good one-liner would have been... Uh, can we do this later? This looks like a combat situation.
Lights off. That's the last of them, sir. So, Kenny, you should have gone for an odd joke. Always good with Gnar. I see you! I bet you can see that coming. What? I think they're all dead. Hey, Kenny, I got a good one for you. Ragnarok. <laughs> that does not work. Better not lost my shoe. Still alive. Hey, Kenny, you come up with a good one liner yet? Or are you still waiting for the other shoe to drop? Rodriguez, cut him some slack. He's new. He'll learn. Time to break out the big guns. What? The minigun? But that's Hellfire's. You know what she's like about people taking her stuff. Nah, she won't mind if I take it.
is an ex-snake. Technically speaking, it's an ex-basilisk. Shut up, Rodriguez! Did you miss me? You're right on time. Hey, Carter! What's new? Did you know this exact same model of bus was used in the assassination attempt on the Italian Prime Minister's personal ufologist in 2052? Now, most people say it was the Illuminati, but I'm pretty sure it was the CIA. Your tax money at work! Why did I even ask? Ladies and gentlemen, the express bus to anywhere but here is now departing. Want me to drive? I don't trust your driving, Stone. Remember what happened in Oslo? Hey, that nun came out of nowhere. You know, it's funny. Today's my birthday. Damn, I didn't get you a present.